Thank mm-hmm. you.
Faculty and staff procession is led by the faculty marshal, Dr. Constantine Vaporis, the 2013 Presidential Research Professor and Professor of History and Director of Asian Studies. He is joined by staff marshal, Dr. Susan Martin, the 2015 recipient of the Presidential Distinguished Staff Award for Professional Staff and Associate Director of the Center for Women in Technology. The faculty, staff, and students marshals are carrying batons that the UMBC Alumni Association gave to the university in honor of our 40th anniversary in 2006. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
The platform party is led by the Grand Marshal, Dr. Sarah Shin, President of the Faculty Senate and Professor of Education. The Grand Marshal carries the university mace, a symbol of presidential authority. Used only on formal academic occasions, it is carried in the procession immediately before the president. UMBC's mace was commissioned by the Alumni Association for UMBC's 20th anniversary in 1986. Good afternoon. The 66 commencement exercises of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County will now be in order. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem sung by Ms. Brianna Bradley, a senior graduating today with a major in music performance. Ms. Bradley will pursue her music career in New York and she's honored to represent the music department today. Gentlemen, please remove your hats or caps during the anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you, Brianna. That was a wonderful rendition, and we wish you well in your music career. Now, I ask that everyone please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the president of UMBC, Dr. Freeman Rabowski.
serving for over 20 years as president, Dr. Hrabowski has brought tremendous energy, vision, and leadership to this institution. He has helped connect the university with individuals, companies, foundations, and agencies that have brought new resources to build and sustain distinctive programs in undergraduate education and graduate education and research. Dr. Hrabowski? Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Shen. Good afternoon. I am delighted to welcome all of you today to this dignified ceremony. As we celebrate today and honor our students who are graduating, we ask that you remain in the arena until the end of the ceremony. In addition to honoring the students today who will receive their bachelor's degrees, our graduate students yesterday who graduated, who had completed all of their requirements, were awarded doctoral and master's degrees in a separate graduate school ceremony held on our campus. Earlier this morning, we inducted a group of seniors into Phi Beta Kappa. I'm going to ask those members, the new members of Phi Beta Kappa, and those who were inducted this past fall to please stand. We also have students who were inducted earlier this month into Phi Kappa Phi, the oldest all-discipline honor society in the country. With the new members of that Phi Kappa Phi, please stand. You may have noticed that some students have red cords. Those cords reflect the fact that they have earned a 4.0 cumulative grade point average. Those with those coveted red cords, please stand. Let's see who you are. Congratulations. Graduates, the older I get, the more I realize that there is nothing in our lives more important than our own families and friends. And so I want the graduates to stand and applaud your family members, parents, and others who are here today to let them know how much you... <laughs> And students, I know you appreciate all that our faculty members and staff members have done to give you support while you're here, so I'm going to ask the faculty and staff to stand and ask the audience and the graduates to please applaud them. Now allow me to acknowledge some of the people on the platform, including the vice presidents and the deans of our colleges and schools and the members of the president's council, the presidents of the campus senates, the president of the SGA, and the presidential faculty and staff award recipients. Would you please stand and would you please applaud for them, please. Mm -hmm. I'm now delighted to introduce a member of the University System of Maryland Board of Regents, Mr. David Kinkoff, who will be bringing greetings on, on behalf of that group of our colleagues on the board, David Kinkoff. Good afternoon. I'm delighted to join you and extend best wishes from the University System of Maryland on behalf of the Board of Regents on this tremendous day. The Board of Regents serves as the governing body for UMBC and 11 other great public universities which comprise the University System of Maryland, 
We could not be more proud of the work done at UMBC, and we could not be more proud of each of you. It's an honor to share this occasion with President Freeman Rabowski. Dr. Rabowski is recognized internationally for his leadership and innovations in higher education, but as literally thousands of you know personally, Dr. Rabowski cares deeply and personally about the development of each and every member of the UMBC community. He calls all of us to excellence, and we are so fortunate to have him leading this institution. Can you join me in showing our appreciation for Dr. Rabowski? Most importantly, it is an honor to be here to recognize and congratulate you, the UMBC Class of 2016. Let's hear it for you. Now, now many people are rightly proud of you today, so it is also a day to celebrate with all who have supported you along the way. Many are here with you, including family and friends, and the superb faculty and staff at UMBC, which is so committed to undergraduate education. Indeed, the entire state of Maryland has supported you. All the citizens of Maryland have invested in you. We recognize how important you and your education are to the very future of our society, and we celebrate your success today. We also expect great things from you. Great communities and societies do not happen accidentally. You must create them and you've learned how to do that at UMBC. You're graduating today not because you have learned everything there is to know, but you are graduating with the firm knowledge from your years at UMBC that you must keep asking questions. You must keep working hard. You must keep asking more of yourselves and those around you, and we are responsible together for making our community better. On behalf of the University System of Maryland Board of Regents, congratulations to each of you. Thank you again for allowing me to share in this day and best wishes for success in the future. Thank you, David. David did not say that he's especially pleased to be here because the president of his own alma mater from his law school is our commencement speaker today. Uh, give David a hand for being a graduate of the Harvard Law School. <laughs> I am now pleased to introduce the UMBC Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Philip Rouse. Dr. Rouse joined the university in 1990. He is a former Dean of the College of Natural and Mathematical Sciences and Professor of the Department of Physics. We are so proud of Dr. Rouse. Philip Rouse, please. Thank you. Good afternoon. On behalf of the scholarly community we call our UMBC, I extend my congratulations to our graduates. Of course, we had very high expectations when we welcomed you as a member of the UMBC community. Those expectations were based upon your promise as scholars. Today, we celebrate your fulfillment of that promise. You will join the tradition of UMBC alumni who, through their life's work, continue to advance our understanding of our own humanity, our democracy, the natural world that surrounds us, and most importantly, make a difference in the lives of others. Your diploma represents not just your academic achievement, but the friendships you've formed, the faculty who nurtured you, and the family and friends who supported you and helped you arrive here today. So I hope you will see your achievement as emerging from within the context of a community, a community that knows you and cares about you. My greatest hope is that your experience as a member of our community will have provided you with the opportunity to reflect upon the many values we share together, values such as excellence, commitment, hard work, inclusiveness, and respect for the dignity of others. Perhaps the most important of these is integrity, and that means putting your values into action. So as you look to the future, I believe that your fulfillment will derive from making the most of whatever talents 
have been bestowed upon each of you, and it lies in extending to the farthest limits the resources of your mind and of your heart. So in conclusion, I have a wish for each and every one of you. May you enjoy a life rich in the knowledge that each day your work and your relationships have truly made a difference. Congratulations. My colleagues are accustomed to my saying, Dr. Faust, that if I had that British accent, I could raise so much more money. We Americans love that British accent somehow, indubitably. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Rouse. We have a number of staff and, and family members of faculty and staff graduating today. Will all of the graduates who are staff members or who are family members of our faculty and staff please stand? And will all of the graduates who are veterans or members of the military please stand? We are very proud of you. Thank you so much. We have graduates who are going to be beginning their careers as teachers of our children. All the future teachers, please stand. All the teachers. And we have graduates who will be social workers working in all of our communities. All of the social workers, please stand. <laughs> Excellent. Many others will be going to graduate schools and professional schools and in the companies and in many professions and we're very proud of you. Before we continue with the ceremony, I would like to recognize one student who is not with us today, Jonathan Shane McNeil. Shane was preparing. to receive his bachelor's degree in psychology with a minor in sociology and English when he suddenly passed away. During his time here, he loved to write, and one of his publications was chosen for the UMBC Literary Magazine. His family noted that he loved his time at UMBC because of all of the wonderful relationships and friendships he made here. Our community feels a great sense of loss. Today, his parents, Dr. John McNeil and his, his mother, Ms. Elizabeth Gordon McNeil, will cross the stage to receive his deg degree. And to the family, I want to say, you will always be a part of us. And I want us to take a moment now for silence to remember our beloved Shane. Thank you very much. One more round of applause for Shay. We have a number of students who will be going on uh, as graduates to prestigious Fulbright uh, experiences in both teaching and research. Several are here today, um, and I'm going to ask them to stand. Emily Bernstein and Shruti uh, Gugari and Matthew Kelly, would you please stand? Going to Malaysia and Australia and Germany, please stand. Give them a round of applause. There are others, but those three are here today. Ready? Let me see. Congratulations. And allow me to, to recognize our valedictorian finalists. As I call your names, please stand. We have uh, Haley Arusi, who will be going on for the PhD in, at, at Stanford. Give her a round of applause in chemical engineering.
and Grace Choi in mathematics, who will be going on for the PhD in biostatistics at the University of Pennsylvania. And James Loy, who will be going on for the PhD at Princeton in physics. And Haley Lynch in mathematics, who will be going to T. Rowe Price as an investment fellow. Congratulations to all of you. Haley, send me a check soon from T. Rowe Price. Thank you very much. <laughs> you may be seated. Congratulations. Please visit our homepage for more of the inspiring stories about our graduates. And now I'm delighted to introduce both the salutatorian and then the valedictorian. Our salutatorian is a double major receiving a degree in political science and global studies today, a Sondheim public affairs scholar. He has a deep interest in human rights issues and public service. He has worked with refugees, young refugees, and has advocated for survivors of torture and trauma. He will be interning with the International Justice Mission this summer while awaiting a Peace Corps placement. We are very proud of him. Congratulations by all means to Ashby Henninson. Please stand, Ashby. And now I'm delighted to introduce the valedictorian for the class, graduating with the bachelor's in biochemistry and molecular biology. She is an exceptional researcher and mentor. She's been honing her analytical and problem-solving skills in the labs, but she's also been committed to serving people right here in Baltimore. She's focused on the significant health disparities in today's society and has been working in West Baltimore, focusing on underserved populations, including working with people with multiple sclerosis and focusing on patient-centered care. She will be attending the University of Maryland School of Medicine and is committed to working here in Baltimore. And we're so proud of Caitlin Seal. Caitlin, would you come forward? We're so proud of you. Please, Caitlin, come right up. We are so proud of you. And I, I want to say this about Caitlin. She is such a generous spirit. We were talking, and I want you to know, I want to surprise somebody. Caitlin has a twin who is also amazing, who will be going to Hopkins for the PhD in cellular and molecular medicine. She's going to Johns Hopkins. Tessa is also amazing. Tessa, stand. Where's the twin? Stand up. Give Tessa. <laughs> she won. <laughs> I had to do that, Tessa. Congratulations, Tessa. We're proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Tessa, did you enjoy that? Because I really did. <laughs> On this important day, I find myself looking back to what brought me to UMBC. I grew up 15 minutes away in Howard County, and many of my peers there considered UMBC to be a safe school. Parents, imagine having twins. It means two of everything, including college tuitions. As a result, my sister and I chose UMBC for primarily financial reasons. Of course, I was excited to come here. But at the same time, I could not get the term safe school out of my head. And I felt like I was staying in my comfort zone. Four years later, I consider UMBC to be anything but safe. Of course, we have a physically safe campus, with the notable exception of those geese near the library pond that intimidate us as we walk to class. But what I mean by not safe is that UMBC challenges us to go out of our comfort zones to gain new perspectives. We have an optimal environment to facilitate this. As we all know, UMBC is an incredibly diverse campus. We have a group for everything. Religion, culture, academics, volunteering, sports teams and clubs, music groups, Greek life, and of course, humans versus zombies. You name it, we have it, and we celebrate it. For four years, I worked with the UMBC Student Events Board. You know, hey guys. You know, the event planning organization that gives out a bunch of free stuff and never, never brings Jay-Z for Quad Mania. But we did bring Kanye in 2004, so there's that. 
During my time with SCB, I have seen students make meaningful connections over donut decorating and bingo. Well, maybe not bingo. We get a little too crazy over bingo here. UMBC is also home to cultural student organizations that host incredible annual events. Tickets for these events sell out in a matter of days. Everyone is buying them. Many of the attendees are not familiar with those cultures, but they go to learn and to sample the delicious food. We explore different ideas in the classroom as well. UMBC's faculty promotes collaboration and teamwork. We challenge ourselves when we work in a group project, collaborate in a research lab, attend ERCAD, or even sit through two hours of chem discovery, or stand if you were the unfortunate scribe for that week. Through these activities, we learn new ways of looking at a problem. This exploration occurs within and outside of our majors. Because of UMBC's diversity of courses, I was able to take at least one class outside of my major every semester, and I regret not having taken more. When we study different fields, we give our brains a workout, improving our overall problem solving and critical thinking. Many of us here are graduating with multiple degrees and minors, showcasing the emphasis UMBC places on a well-rounded education. And for good reason. No matter how specialized a profession appears, interdisciplinary approaches are essential for success. UMBC's spirit of diversity, inside and outside of the classroom, challenges us to broaden our perspectives. We are encouraged to take chances because we have the ability to view different experiences as learning opportunities. Last year, I was applying for medical scribe positions in the emergency rooms of local hospitals. Most of the site options were in county locations, but one hospital, Bon Secours Hospital, was in West Baltimore City. So I had the choice to work in a familiar, safer county environment, or work in an environment with a patient population that I knew virtually nothing about. Yes, I was a little frightened, but I thought of what my UMBC experiences had taught me. Specifically, I remembered when I first started volunteering through the Shriver Center with MS Swim, a local aqua therapy program for patients with multiple sclerosis. At first, I was nervous about interacting with the participants, and I worried that I would say the wrong thing. But over time, as I learned more and more about the participants and their lives, my fear disappeared. My cap is falling off, so let me just adjust. My fear disappeared, and MS Swim had quickly become the highlight, I'm just going to take it off, the highlight of my UMBC experience. So I had decided to take that same chance with Bon Secours. Over a year later, I can say that scribing at Bon Secours is now tied with volunteering at MS Swim as my most valuable collegiate experience. My time working in West Baltimore increased my awareness about the healthcare disparities affecting our community. It also influenced my decision to live and attend medical school in Baltimore City next year. And there are many in here who have achieved awe-inspiring feats, way, way more impressive than just working at a hospital. People in this room studied abroad, completed prestigious internships, won numerous awards and scholarships, volunteered with nonprofits, uh, competed in sporting events, presented their research at a conference, or worked multiple jobs through all of college. These opportunities were likely intimidating at first, yet our drive to gain perspective outweighed fear and we have the UMBC community and our family and parents to thank for this. No doubt, our ability to take on different and challenging experiences as a source of knowledge will take us far. But more importantly, this attitude makes us better human beings. We live in a time in which some voices are shouting for walls to be built and for people to be kept out of our country based on their religion. Some people discriminate against others of different races, ethnicities, socioeconomic classes, and sexual identities. I believe these closed-minded beliefs come from a place of fear. Instead of looking at differences as opportunities to learn, some people view them as a threat. These intolerant voices may seem loud at times, but they are countered by actions of inclusion and tolerance. A recent example is the mayoral election in London in which Sadiq Khan, a man of Islamic faith, won by an unprecedented 1.3 million votes. Yeah, give him a round of applause. He's not here, but I'm sure he appreciates it. 
Like our community at UMBC, Mayor-elect Khan and his supporters promote openness, community, integration, and opportunity. As soon-to-be, well, very soon-to-be alumni, it is our duty to continue to spread this message. Wherever our paths take us, be it graduate school, professional school, the workforce, the military, a gap year, anywhere, I hope that we will promote the appreciation of ideas and experiences different from our own. Once again, congratulations, and I eagerly anticipate hearing about all of our future success. Maybe at UBC's 50th anniversary celebrations this fall, I hope we all go. It has been an honor to be a part of this truly, truly impressive graduating class, and I thank you all for contributing to the intelligent, compassionate, and open-minded community that we share at UMBC. Thank you. Wonderful. Congratulations again, it's wonderful. Dr. Rouse. Mm -hmm. We will now confer our honorary degree. Dr. Drew, Drew Gilpin Faust, please rise and step forward. As president of Harvard, Dr. Drew Faust has expanded financial aid to improve access to the college for students from all economic backgrounds and has been a staunch advocate for increased federal funding for scientific research. She has broadened the university's international reach, raised, raised the profile of the arts on campus, and launched edX, the internationally recognized online learning partnership with MIT. Dr. Faust is a historian and author of six books, her most recent of which won the 2009 Bancroft Prize and received recognition as one of the 10 best books of 2008 by the New York Times. Her honors include awards for distinguished teaching at the University of Pennsylvania and election to numerous national societies. Dr. Faust holds a BA in history from Bryn Mawr College and an MA and PhD in American Civilization from the University of Pennsylvania. We are proud today to honor Dr. Drew Faust with an honorary Doctor of Public Service degree for her outstanding leadership and vision in higher education. Now, therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Maryland and given to me by the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland and upon the unanimous vote of the Board of Regents, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Public Service, Honoris Causa, together with all the rights and privileges thereunto pertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you our commencement speaker of the year. Dr. Faust, I would say this in reflection of something you said to me, the youngest university in the country salutes the oldest. She represents the best of American higher education, one of America's greatest thought leaders, Dr. Drew Faust. <laughs> Thank you for this very great honor. Thank you, President Rabowski, UMBC faculty, staff, distinguished guests, families, friends, and of course, graduating students. It is a signal honor for me to be here. Graduates, you have worked hard to arrive at this moment. You've sacrificed a great deal to be here. I know that there have been many long nights of study for all of you who committed yourselves to having the party in the library. As part of my job, I make a lot of speeches. And in my nine years as Harvard's president, I've given talks in more than a dozen countries on five continents. But today marks the first. 
other than speaking at our own graduation each spring. This is the very first commencement address I have delivered as president of Harvard. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> president Rabowski, it is an honor to do so at the extraordinary institution you lead. Thank you for inviting me. When you were awarded an honorary degree at Harvard six years ago, I spoke about how you have made UMBC a shining example of innovation in STEM education and a premier pathway for students from all economic, racial, and ethnic backgrounds to uh, achieve doctoral degrees in medicine, science, and technology. The Meyerhoff Scholars Program alone is a ladder that has lifted more than 900 minority and low-income graduates to advanced degrees in math, science, and medicine. And I know you have nurtured many other such programs here, ensuring achievement and intellectual engagement for future teachers, public affairs students, women in technology, and explorations and explorers in the arts. You form tight-knit communities of scholars. You provide strong faculty support and mentorship. And you show the world what is possible. Your example is so important. Higher education can be the great equalizer in this country. And there is no other intervention as strong or as enduring as a college education for helping individuals and societies to thrive. But many colleges, most colleges, have not figured out how to do as good a job as UMBC at enabling all students to reach their highest potential. The statistics are sobering. Over the period between 1990 and 2014, the gap between whites and blacks in the rate of attaining a bachelor's or higher degree widened from 13 to 18 percentage points. And the gap between whites and Hispanics in attaining this education level widened from 18 to 26 percentage points. This should concern all of us in higher education and beyond. We need to close those gaps and bring degrees within reach for far more students, regardless of race, ethnicity, or economic circumstance. Thank you. For many of you, your path here today has not been easy. Some of you have completed school while holding down part-time or even full-time jobs. A number of you have earned your degrees while helping to raise and support families. And for the more than 20% of you who are first-generation college graduates, your presence in caps and gowns today stands squarely and triumphantly against those concerning trends I just described. Each for them. Each and every one of you has added to the long and impressive list of accomplishments of the class of 2016, forging new ground in everything from RNA to renewable energy, interning at Jawbone and the Jet Propulsion Lab, heading off to large and small companies, nonprofits, government agencies, the Peace Corps, and AmeriCorps. A remarkable number of you will be undertaking advanced study in fields ranging from engineering to philosophy, from medicine to music composition. And I salute those who will represent UMBC across the globe as Fulbright awardees. I'm especially pleased that some of you will be joining me in Cambridge next fall. Garv Luthria, for example, will be pursuing his PhD in bioinformatics and integrative biology at Harvard with support from a very competitive NSF graduate research fellowship. Garav, I'll see you around the yard.
And Randy Williams will be studying alongside her fellow hackers, coders, and entrepreneurs at MIT, just down the red line. She's already successfully lobbied the Maryland Assembly to support an entrepreneurship program here at UMBC. Other, yeah, Randy. Other colleges and universities throughout the country, including Harvard, can learn from the strategies UMBC has used to help you complete such rigorous courses of study and arrive at the moment where we find ourselves today, the moment you participate in these exercises and are proclaimed graduates. For 15 years, I have participated in a similar ceremony at Harvard, and for the last eight, I have addressed Harvard's graduating seniors as their president. There are very specific words that I deliver as their degrees are formally conferred. And these are words that my predecessors have also solemnly intoned in more or less the same way for more than 100 years. And those words go like this. By virtue of authority delegated to me, I confer on you the first degree in arts or in science and admit you to the fellowship of educated men and women. Now, I wonder if that means I just awarded you all Harvard degrees. That's an interesting <laughs> thought. But I find that a very powerful phrase, the fellowship of educated men and women. What does that mean? What exactly anchors us all as college graduates in that union with one another? What sets us apart? And what responsibilities does being a member of that fellowship confer on us? What does it confer on you? That fellowship is a ticket, it's a passport, and it's a responsibility. First, as you and your families know well, the diploma you'll carry home today is a ticket to greater prosperity. Over a lifetime, students who graduate from college can expect to make about 60% more than those who do not, a difference that averages out to well over a million dollars in wages over a working life. The economic recovery from the Great Recession has been highly uneven, and those without the ticket that you now hold, a college degree, or that you'll hold once Freeman gets around to it, uh, these uh, individuals have seen income stagnate and in some cases fall backward. Your degree better prepares you to navigate the variable winds that buffet our global economy and it equips you not just for a first job but for a career and for many careers. Your degree is also a ticket to health. College graduates tend to lead more active lives, to exercise more, to smoke less, it's a ticket to home ownership, since graduates own homes more often than those who don't go to college. No question, the ticket into this so-called fellowship is very valuable. But as I recently told a group of high school students I spoke to in Dallas, your college education is much more than a ticket to career success. It's also a passport filled with stamps that you've collected over your time here as your courses, your professors, your fellow students have introduced you to places you'd never been, perspectives you'd never seen, and possibilities you'd probably never even imagined before you set foot on this campus. And now, it is a passport to new ways of thinking and creating, to a new world of possibility. You've been given a chance to look at the world through different eyes, to understand your place in it, and to see how we are both the same and different from people who have inhabited other eras and other lands. Like a real passport, a degree has stamps from places you have been and opens the door to the places you'll travel next. As Dr. Seuss exclaimed, oh, the places you'll go, if you use the passport that you have earned. After four years at Harvard, writer John Updike observed, I still had a lot to learn, but I had been given the liberating notion 
that now I could teach myself. Embrace the possibility and capacity to continue to learn, a capacity that your time here has granted to you. Which brings me to my last point. Being educated carries with it a responsibility. I know many of you have carried responsibility to your family and your communities with you here every day. You have felt you had to achieve and also serve as representative for your neighborhood, your high school, your family, your teachers, for all the people who believed in you. But now, as you join this fellowship of college graduates, you have intellectual responsibilities to our society as well. You have the responsibility to model reason and reason debate, to value facts and to insist that they inform our public discourse. As early 20th century civil rights leader Nanny Helen Burroughs put it, education is democracy's life insurance, and never have we needed it more. You have the responsibility to cultivate doubt, to ask the questions that enable us ultimately to build a better world, to look beyond the superficial and the immediate, and to surface the important, the enduring, the true. As scientists, many of you have been trained to interrogate your hypotheses and relentlessly seek evidence. And you must bring that talent both to the laboratory and to public life. A dean at Harvard used to tell students that the main hallmark of an educated person was to be able to detect when someone is talking rot. And you have the responsibility to pay it forward, to inspire others in their quest for knowledge, just as you were inspired, to acknowledge the many people who invested in your journey by offering your help to others. So many of you are already embracing that responsibility. Cheyenne Smith, the mock trial powerhouse who graduates today, will spend her next year in the AmeriCorps Community Service Program. You heard from your valedictorian, Caitlin Seal, who will attend medical school with the goal of combating health disparities and caring for the underserved. Sarah Posey, who graduates today, will begin teaching US history next Monday, following in the footsteps of alumni like Shalonda Holt, the 2007 UMBC graduate who last month was named Washington Post's 2016 Teacher of the Year. She is living the responsibility conferred by her UMBC education every day. Education challenges us with the obligation to be the best we can be for ourselves and for others every day. It shows us what we might be, and it points the way. So now is your time to use your new passport and travel towards that future. Congratulations, graduates. I welcome you to the Fellowship of Educated Citizens, citizens equipped to imagine a new world and committed to build it. Use your ticket. Stamp your passport. Live out your responsibility to our society and our democracy every day. And come back to rub True Grit's nose from time to time so that you remember what you and UMBC have accomplished together. Congratulations. What's amazing is that you could tell that your commencement speaker really did her homework, thought about what she wanted to say, how she could inspire you, appreciates who we are as an institution, and then inspires us to pay it forward. Give her a big round of applause for what she did. Really mean that. It's really so inspiring. Very, very inspiring. We appreciate that. We do. 
And when you see her somewhere in Boston, a reminder, she is now an alumna of UMBC. One more big round of applause for that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed to award our degrees. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Bachelor of Science please rise. Dr. Robowski. Dr. Rouse. Dr. Robowski, I have the honor of presenting the candidates recommended by the faculty of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Science. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the state of Maryland given to the Board of Regents and the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland, and by them entrusted to me, I hereby admit you to the degrees which you have earned during the course of your studies at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. In token whereof, you shall be given a diploma with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Today, each graduate will receive a memento from the UMBC Alumni Association. Joining us here today, we have a member of the UMBC Alumni Association Board of Directors, Mr. John Becker, who will make the presentation on behalf of the association. Now will the candidates for Africana Studies, American Studies, and Ancient Studies please uh, walk to the stage under the direction of the commencement staff, and please will the remaining candidates be seated until your row is escorted by the commencement staff. And please, we ask the graduates and their families and friends to remain in the arena until the ceremony has concluded. Thank you. Families, we know you're going to applaud and we encourage you to do so. Just remember, it's a dignified ceremony. Thank you all. <laughs> going to come right on. We now present the graduates in Africana Studies. Brandon Foster. We now present the graduates in American Studies. Tara Jean Cuzzert. Michelle E. Gilbert. Christina T. Quagan. Dogmawi Tesfaye. We now present the graduates in Ancient Studies. Graham Robert Johnson, summa cum laude. Margaret Louise Marzolf, cum laude. Catherine C. Morrill, magna cum laude. We now present the graduates in Asian Studies. Nicole E. Akasella, cum laude. Kayla Nicole Barrett. David Cesar. Hannah H. Goldberg, summa cum laude. Lindsay V. Johnston. Karen Lau, magna cum laude. Matthew Lee, cum laude. Rachel L. McLeod. Vicki Yao, cum laude. Benjamin Warren Zimmer. We now present the graduates in dance. Ryan Bailey. Stephanie M. Kastner, cum laude. Catherine A. Creed. Chelsea Nicole Green. Ariana N. Johnson. Rachel E. Lum, cum laude. Jeffrey Mensa. Marina L. Nicholas, cum laude. Marta Teresa Stakarovsky, Kelly N. Wright. We now present the graduates in economics. Ruhan A. Khalil Abu Hassan. 
Ola Lakin O. Adams, Mary J. Ahn, Oluwadara Oluwabukola Alawode, cum laude, Garrett M. Anthony, Karina Micheline Asmar, Saruthi Balasubramanian, Matthew M. Cross, Christina Bartko, magna cum laude, Tyler N. Becker, Samuel Bowmaster, magna cum laude, Alexander N. Carvalho, Amrin Chada, cum laude, Gary Cheng, Matthew T. Cross, Alexander Edward Cunningham, Andrew Stephen DeArmond, Alexander Dream, Jacob Solon Dunkel, Brian England, Essence K. Fredericks, Catherine A. Frediani, magna cum laude, Emily Frias, Barun Ghosh, Brandon W. Haney, Mark K. Jubert, Steve Kong, Zuhair Ahmed Khan, Omer Kokar, Daniel S. Kim, Yunhuan Kim, Lung Kung, Tai Kyung Kwok, Tai Wan Kwan, Ryan D. Quiatek, Kevin R. Lachance, Rotimi R. Babolola, Unica G. Laranang, Andrew Mazik Laskowski, Christina Lee, cum laude, Daniel Bibonj Amsini, Say W. Lee, Wendell W. Liu, Wilson T. Lowe, cum laude, Nicholas M. Mburu, Vivek S. Murthy, magna cum laude, Zachary Edward Miley, David Ha Nguyen, Ayukoso Ojang, Zachary O. Osinsade, Kush Kandravandan Patel, Audrey Zafanya Petrali, William Henry Thomas Rice, cum laude, Megan Nicole Rojas, Matthew Schwartz, Michael Peter Scott, cum laude, Cody Joseph Selbert, Min Kyung Shin, Danish Hamid Siddiqui, Ajesh Kumar Singh, Ali Sinan, Peter J. Smith, magna cum laude, Stephen Snyder, Jason Stellato, cum laude, Daniel P. Sullivan, summa cum laude, Bruce Robert Taylor, Christian Aubin Ngachu Chuanku, Megan C. Thomas, Rachel Marion Tillery, cum laude, Ryan Ullman, cum laude, Ethan Howell Wilson, Daniel J. Winter. We now present the graduates in emergency health services. Saleh Alamri, Abdulaziz Saad A. Saad A. Al-Humaydi, Hussein M. J. A. Boumejdad, Danielle Michelle Haskin, cum laude, Nicole Jennifer Lentz, Lillian F. Ryden, cum laude, Brandon K. Solomon, summa cum laude. Jae Young Young, cum laude. We now present the graduates in English. Alexa C. Abey. Jackie D. Earhart, cum laude. Cindy Nomi Aravalo. Elizabeth Chen. David Corsi. Anna A. Crow, summa cum laude. Megan C. Cusack. Caitlin E. Day. Summa cum laude. Lynn Deckel, magna cum laude. Megan L. Esman. Jonathan J. Hyan. 
Anthony Frank Jankowski, magna cum laude. Grace E. Kim, magna cum laude. Brittany J. Kramer, magna cum laude. Michelle K. Mattern, summa cum laude. Trey Lundy. Leslie K. McNeely. Rucha Yogesh Mehta. Heather Mellerson. Alex Keen Miller. Joanne Pan. Elizabeth J. Pickering. Kelly Pertell, magna cum laude. Tyler B. Robinson, magna cum laude. Michael Ruiz. Colleen A. Sack, summa cum laude. Alexandra B. Schamberger Sandoski. Sonam Sharad. Rebecca C. Slade, cum laude. Julia Sutherland. Sarah E. Spicer, summa cum laude. Asia Nicole Williams. We now present the graduates in Gender and Women's Studies. Rebecca Lee Collins, magna cum laude. Maria Grace Asecki. Angelica Fell. Natalie M. Frager. Elliot J. Galuli, magna cum laude. Julia Gottlieb. We now present the graduates in Geography and Environmental Systems. Daisy Lambati Awasam. Jack E. Behrens. Michael Thomas Bowers. Alyssa G. Brummett. Christopher Clemens, magna cum laude. David L. Cunningham. Rachel Denby. Katie Samira Durkin. Benjamin B. Ferguson, cum laude. Benjamin Fulton. Robert M. Ford. Corrine Jessica Griffith. Samuel I. Wee. Shannon E. Jackson. Jacob T. Lysier. Nelson Rafael Martinez. Mary Elizabeth Miller. Virginia Grace Morgan. Roni Peter Papera. Jordan W. Saltakis, magna cum laude. Katie L. Robinson. Harmony Roche. Rochelle L. Rogers, cum laude. William Ryan. Rachel Schumann. Nicole Scott. Alex Z. Spafford. Gabriella N. Stallworth. Justin D. Swick. Gregory Todd Uselton. Joshua B. Walker, cum laude. Crystal O. Webb. Keith Christopher Williams. Theodore J. Williams. Fan Chi Wu. We now present the graduates in Global Studies. Samuel Demeza, summa cum laude. Jake C. Dillon, cum laude. Lisa Hu. Melina A. Latona, cum laude. Lindsay Ariana Longley. Natalie J. Mikasa. Amanda Quinn. We now present the graduates in history. Michael Adamovich. Jacob L. Adcock. Audra L. Campbell. John W. Carroll. Jacqueline A. Clark, cum laude. Tyler Duckett, magna cum laude. Brake Finson. Christopher Aaron Flores. Bridget Hurley, magna cum laude. Catherine I. Jackson. Angelica Caldas. Miles W. Light, cum laude. Cerise Louis. Madison L. Meyer, cum laude. Mark Douglas Monroe. Jennifer K. Nelson. Robert L. Porter. Sayer M. Posey, magna cum laude. Kimberly Kara Sapp. Sudaba Lesgieva. Sidra Sheik, magna cum laude. We now present the graduates in Media and Communication Studies. Sarah M. Balter, summa cum laude. Griffin Baltz, cum laude. Bria Bass. Paulina Lauren Christ. Mabel K. Chua. 
Callan Joy Clement, cum laude. Paige Shelby Coulihan, cum laude. Kadeem Dakers. Turrell J. David. Charles H. Debeau IV. Danielle D. Dupree. Matthew Allen Edmiston. Seamus Donner Tell. Megan Lynn Flock, cum laude. Capri Damara Garner. Anthony John Gatto. Dina A. Garib. Billy J. Gibson. Meg E. Junta. Ryan Alexander Gordon. Vicky E. Gutsoulis. Taylor L. Haas, cum laude. Alec Jaron Hannock. Cody C. Joyce. Stephen Scott Keith. Emily L. Cranking. Randy Claire Lindsay, cum laude. Eric Martez Marbury. Anna Maria Matos. Caitlin Amanda Marico. Dennis Mikush. Paige J. Miller. Ryan Mulherin. Desiree Nicole Nelson. Bridget Michelle O'Malley, cum laude. Marie Oliverio. Talamola D. Opabajo. Nicholas J. Pascarella, cum laude. Ilesh Bipin Patel. Henry Matthew Pazarina. Marissa L. Pigals, magna cum laude. Lydia Preethi Rasamal. Kyle N. Rogers. Caitlin Schaffer, cum laude. Scott R. Sice, summa cum laude. Imani E. Spence. Riley Allen Stevenson. Amber Taylor, cum laude. Dina Julia Trembisky, cum laude. Holly Cretina Votman. Richard L. Williams. Catherine Lauren Wood. We now present the graduates in Modern Languages, Linguistics, and Intercultural Communications. Julia Abal, cum laude. April Elizabeth Berardi. Jonathan Robert Church. Ruth Y. Corridan. Caroline Davis, cum laude. Megan S. Farrow. Faye Hixenbaugh, cum laude. Rachel Renee Hutt. Yuna Chung. Matthew K. Kelly, cum laude. Rewa Kumar. Jessica Jian Lee. Ian Patrick McNally. Keith David Mitchell. Aaron Rutkowski. David Benjamin Shaner, cum laude. Alexander Strong. Karen McKenzie Tench. John Raymond Thomas, magna cum laude. Mark C. Von Heeringen, cum laude. Amanda L. Wingate, cum laude. We now present the graduates in music. Brianna Bradley, cum laude. Elliot Chamberlain, magna cum laude. Kara J. Deckelbaum, summa cum laude. Martin James Griffin, summa cum laude. Emily N. Hins, summa cum laude. Karina Ingram, summa cum laude. Zachary J. Joins. Jill Martisich, cum laude. Sydney E. Wagner, summa cum laude. We now present the graduates in philosophy. Brian Giovanni Lazo. Kyle J. McWilliam. Ryan Michael Sullivan, cum laude. We now present the graduates in political science. Noha Hazem Ahmed. Sean Michael Akey, cum laude. Carmel Bahia Amero. Christina Fotios Araviakis. Kenat Arif. Nafisa Ba. Daniel A. Brazina. Darian Kate, cum laude. Madison A. Chase, cum laude. Manuela Chiang. Lorea Edmondson Martin. Ahmed Aisa, magna cum laude. Amina Ihab El Gamal, magna cum laude. Harun Ayao.
Tasha Gaynor, cum laude. Amira Giadala, cum laude. Sam Hackstein. Hesham K. Hassanain. Ashby J. Henningsen, summa cum laude. Mikhail D. Hirschfeld. Benjamin Hiller, summa cum laude. Matthew Shea, summa cum laude. Amy N. Jowarish. Aaron M. Kennett. Noreen Y. Khan. Hillary Lambros. Daniel A. Luludis, cum laude. Saad Malik. Isaac M. Mason. William Ryan Perry. Brian A. Portillo. Shafat Rahman. Gonzalo Javier Reque Sanchez de Lozada. Yusuf Mohammed Sahib Zada. Alyssa C. Steyer. Sushen Thiagarajan. Bayat Shimuna. Deborah Chiovo. Michael Lee Waldron. Asim Wakar. William Reed White. Kyle M. Wood. Summa cum laude. Ellis Zappas, cum laude. We now present the graduates in psychology. Adateniola Adaniki Adabayo, cum laude. Vivian Adajoke Adatunji. Sandra Adaranke Adayemi, cum laude. Fidelis Adinkra, cum laude. Felicia Adawumi Akarelli, cum laude. Laura M. Arias. Mena Asrat. Ariana Barami. David G. Beach. Casey Lynn Maridas Bermudez. Emily R. Bernstein, magna cum laude. Vanessa Y. Barroetta. Alexandra Blucher. Adriana V. Bolat. Eugene Bosworth. Kayla Taylor Brandt. Ariella J. Brandt. Marina H. Bronstein. Ivana Buczynski. Milan Butler. Elaine Chen, summa cum laude. Shannon Cleary. Marilenis G. Cruz. Arlene Quanius. Amanda Daly. Nimra Durrani. Valerie Nasa Etta. Julie R. Faber. Andrea Tatiana Falcon Lopez. Martinez Fernandez. Sarah E. Fuster. Rivka T. Fleischman, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Milagros Franco. Joseph Edward Fru. Krishna Gehera, cum laude. Sinia Galdames. Jacqueline Patricia Garros. Arsema Gazai Girmai. William C. Greenwood. Magna cum laude. Claire Suzanne Hajar. Brian S. Heidelbach. Casey J. Hewitt, summa cum laude. Laura K. Holzer, cum laude. Christina Hong, magna cum laude. David House. Carrie Marie Howden. Kelsey B. Hughes. Nicholas Hushenbeth, summa cum laude. Kayam Irfan, Sabuna L. Johnson, Catherine Julian, summa cum laude, Clara Kong, cum laude, Sandeep Kaur, Christina Kawata, magna cum laude, Sakiba Zafar Khan, Esther Saul Kim, Margaret Frances Kriza, Anna C. Kubacek, magna cum laude, Alisa Kunhavajit, magna cum laude. Shona Louise Lambert. Nicole Lanciati, magna cum laude. Patrick J. Lannon. Chavez Lee, cum laude. Chelsea Michelle Lee. G. Ho Lee. Christine Limekuller, summa cum laude. Alicia Leviden. Rose Lee, Jennifer Lim, Yasmin Bahar Latfalakan Zand, Asim Mahmoud, Dominic Menengding, 
Mariam Manu Kaloyan, cum laude. Philip Addo Marshall. Bria McCormick. Elizabeth S. McNaughton. Amy Lee Middleton. Natalie Milazzo. Mariana I. Morales. Sarah Moshman, magna cum laude. Jennifer Nicole Nance. Jessica Ann Newmeyer. Crescens Nyo Bajek, cum laude. Oluwakemi Odumeru. Neka Opara. Hannah M. Paterini. Sagar Rajendra Patel. Adrienne Pena, magna cum laude. Amanda M. Pereira, cum laude. Samantha Perlmutter, cum laude. Amberly B. Phoebus, magna cum laude. Dixon K. Poku. Jennifer Ann Potvin. Bailey C. Pratt, magna cum laude. Jennifer Pumphrey. Hannah C. Quaid. Alexa Tomasina Quaranta. Presley L. Quaranta. Marianne Lynn Quillen. Allison Diana Reichard, summa cum laude. Gabriela I. Rios Martinez. Bethany T. Ritter. Haley S. Rosenberg, cum laude. Sydney D. Rolhack. Angela Fronda Seguros. Brandon J. So. Kelsey E. Seabuck. Magna Cum Laude. Angelina Somadina Oputa. Jordan Alexis Skanga. Ewura A.C. Edziba Shaw Taylor. Cum Laude. Taylor A. Sheldon. Cum Laude. Jennifer H. Shin. Ian M. Sillers. Lauren Marie Smith. Cum Laude. Jacqueline M. Talbert. Mena C. Chefo. Ioana Socaccio. Sai Priya Surapaneni, Ryan W. Tong, Queenie Tron, magna cum laude, Angeline Marie Valencia, Michael A. Viras, magna cum laude, Taylor R. Warner, Taylor John Worthen, magna cum laude, Rachel Westman, Shanika L. Williford, Rekik D. Woldesenbet, Jennifer Beavis Wood, Christina M. Yao, So Yun Yi, Ka Ching Yim, Ellen G. Ye Yoon, Iram Zar, Jonathan Shane McNeil, awarded posthumously, represented by his father, Dr. John McNeil, and his mother, Mrs. Elizabeth Gordon McNeil. We now present the graduates in Sociology, Anthropology, and Health Administration and Policy. Tosnem M. Abu Qadir. Debbie Adalakun. Belawo Yao Akawaku. Titi Amaz. Gurdev Singh Anand. Deborah Aining. Jose E. Ataviado. Polomi Banerjee. Jasmine J. Bazemore, Eva N. Benvenga, cum laude, Yinka Bodhi George, Mamta A. Bhatia, Angel Bucci, Lillian Jessica Burrell, David J. Caldwell, Kenneth D. Canubis, Carol P. Cordova, Amber Leslie Deal, Jasmine D. Dickerson, 
Bernice Duran, Joy Isaken and Azim, Tasha Maria Chalufia Mawara, Sarah S. Fakrei, Oluafunmish Fashina, Gabriella Frank, Summa Cum Laude, Shannon Freeland, David Lee Gammerman, Jack Gannon, Marie Louise Yu Namba, Magna Cum Laude, Sarah Golshiri, Bobby Lee Isabel Griffey, Cum Laude, Shelby Caitlin Hammond, Laura M. Humber, Timothy J. Jacobs, Parker R. James, Summa Cum Laude, Chloe Tempest Jackson, Evelyn Tamaku Capche, Mert K. Karagos, Sephora Kashvapur, Rada Khan, Allison Marie Kupiek, Cum Laude, Ji Sung Kwan, Adama Iro Mamane Lawali, Haewon Lee, Cum Laude, Nathan Spiro Loons, Alexandra D. Marconi, Swapnika Madavarum, Avanti A. Meta, Cum Laude, Megan E. Milani, Namrata K. Mohanti, Cum Laude, Aaron Dale Good, Carrie L. Neal, Archana L. Nilawira, Diane Chidizi Nameka, Samantha N. Nolan, Kamla Salom Nukafu, Jaziel B. Paulinus, Rafay A. Qureshi, Cum Laude, Philip William Ramis, Colton Roderick, Cum Laude, Nicole Alexandra Richards, Paige Lauren Ramoser, Melissa Rubalata, Michelle H. Santos, Samuel Schlossenberg, Magna Cum Laude, Taylor Marie Schreiber, Cum Laude, Hira Shah, Amit Sharma, Brianna Jo Smith, Devereaux Christian Smith, Mora L. Smith, Magna Cum Laude, Larissa Sophia Taga Chakua, Tiffany Uzegbu, Sherelle Leslie Walker, Megan Elizabeth Wrinkle, Mesha Zaman. We now present the graduates in theater. Chaz M. Atkinson, Cum Laude. Savannah Joe Chamberlain. Grace I. Davenport, Magna Cum Laude. Serafina F. Donahue. Anna Louise Feinerman. Alexis E. Koserhan, Cum Laude. Riel H. Levenberg, Summa Cum Laude. Alexandra Reeves. Rachel Grit Summercamp. We now present the graduates in visual arts. Oluwasola Awajodu. Lucinda R. Bennett, magna cum laude. Hope K. Berger. Catherine Victoria Bobby, magna cum laude. Christina Bowman, cum laude. Brittany O. Boyd. Daniel A. Burgos. Mackenzie Cabana. Daniel J. Canistra. Andrea Cervantes Medina, cum laude. Samantha M. Chadbourne, magna cum laude. Heather F. Kramer. Regine D. Daniels. Jimena Rocio del Castillo. Cosette D. Delisle. Nicholas David DeSalnier. Kimberly A. Doan. Christina O. Diadura, cum laude. Joy Arit Emanuela Etacudo. Obina Isoga, Mariah Garnett, Brianna Ashley Hall, Terry L. Harper, Devarick L. Houston, Benjamin Stewart James, Anna Khan, Su Hyung Kim, Calvin Kumagai, Magna Cum Laude. Kara M. McGochran. Savannah J. Myers. Sandy P. Nguyen. Caitlin D. Nichols, Cum Laude. Gloria O. Okafor, Cum Laude. 
Carmela T. Pambuena, cum laude. Eliza Michelle Powell. Lloyd Paolo Ferrer Perdente. Artie Ferrer Perdente. Ian G. Rossi, magna cum laude. Mariko Sakemi, magna cum laude. Benjamin Frederick Schaffer, cum laude. Nicole A. Simke, cum laude. Angelo H. Scarlatos. UA UA Song. Eric M. Thompson. Stephen Matthew Thompson. Johnson Tian, cum laude. Matthew A. Walker. Sarah A. Wagman. Monica Wessam William Hanine, cum laude. Mattia Willis, cum laude. Rachel N. Wolven, cum laude. Hiba Zia. Maimuna Mahamane Iro. We now present the graduates in biochemistry and molecular biology. Medina Abdella. Ayushi Agarwal, summa cum laude. Asen Aligolizita, magna cum laude. Augusto Manuel Benavisi Panizo, magna cum laude. Jason R. Bender. Natithorn Busri. Sarah A. Bohorfush. Nicholas C. Bolden, cum laude. Forrest Bowling. Jacob Price Brandon. Hilary Bright. Benjamin A. Brigoli. Margarita V. Brovkina, magna cum laude. Sarah Brown. Nikayla W. Bryan, magna cum laude. Andrew F. Butler. Devin Catterton. Joelle Cusick, magna cum laude. Chuan Dao, cum laude. Victoria Davenport. Emily D. Diaz. Jacob Robert Dole. Lan Tu Duong. Geraldine Chinomso Ezeka. Caitlin K. Ford, cum laude. Patrick Fotso. Lindsay A. Glang. Daniel Joshua Gray. Derek C. Grove, cum laude. Shruti A. Gujaran, summa cum laude. Brenda Gutierrez, summa cum laude. Emma Hickson. Fong T. Wong. Donald Hong, summa cum laude. Samin Hossein, summa cum laude. Joseph W. Hunter, cum laude. Bhavna Joyce, cum laude. Mitchell L. Kelly. Peter Kim. Alex X. Kuznetsov. Benjamin B. Loretto. Bao Trang Nok Lu, magna cum laude. Kyle A. Martin, magna cum laude. Jeremy Madison, summa cum laude. Seo E. McCowan, cum laude. Larry L. Morton. Mario A. Marillo. Christopher M. Nisley, cum laude. Tolu Nelson Omokuhinde. Anthony M. Palilla, magna cum laude. Sean Pometeer. Kristen Park. Shiv K. Parmar. Bornima Patel. Stephen Christopher Paul. Xavier A. Pope, magna cum laude. Fani S. Ravichandran. Catherine Redmond, magna cum laude. Jameen W. Rowe. Brent R. Rungji. Caitlin N. Seal, summa cum laude. Tessa S. Seal, magna cum laude. William C. Simke. Joseph C. Sparenberg. Natalie M. Steenrod, magna cum laude. Roll Jen Steuben, magna cum laude. Gwenael Thomas, cum laude. Michael D. Trentini. Danielle P. Tyson, magna cum laude. Mashud M. Wani, cum laude. Stephen M. Wist. Lian Yuan. We now present the graduates in bioinformatics and computational biology. Andrew B. Antonio. 
Simon Guo. Guarav D. Luthria, summa cum laude. Kevin Nguyen. We now present the graduates in biological sciences. Israel Toby Achu. Mobilonle O. Adebasin, magna cum laude. Bukola Onome Adeosun. Sawi An. Shabana Ali. Jessica M. Allison, cum laude. Afra Abdullah Al Zahir. Aryun Zaya Angalan, summa cum laude. Charmaine D. Andaya, magna cum laude. Rosina A. C. Anan. Lillian Obiageli Anasike, magna cum laude. Andrea Arias. A.R. Ashraf. Olu Benga M. Awatunde. Lila Azam. Sarah Bach, cum laude. Yushan Bai, cum laude. Natika Bonsal. Aaron J. Banks. Yolanda N. Beasley. Marvin Asikat Beauchart. Crystal Amanda Betancourt. Miranda B. Bobbitt. Nicolina A. Boretti, summa cum laude. Kyle Briggs, cum laude. Kathleen Britt. Jacqueline N. Brondi, summa cum laude. Dominic L. Brown. Chad E. Bird, cum laude. Bernard C. Cabotet. Nicholas Calamaris. Nicole A. Canning. Elizabeth Ann Cardosa. Hanit S. Chada. Sania H. Chowdhury. Elizabeth Y. Cho. Stephanie M. Churchman, summa cum laude. Laura Cleland. Lauren M. Coberly, summa cum laude. Anna Rusella Caliso, cum laude. Maria Julia Bianca G. Corpus. Olivia L. Kahn. Christina M. Cronice, magna cum laude. Ian A. Crosby. Corinna B. Dorelius, cum laude. Ingrid X. De Paz. Supriya Dorali, cum laude. Kiera M. Dowdy. Gerard O. Duncan. Sunny L. Duttweiler. Neoma B. Edokobi. Sean Onyayechi Ekekwe, cum laude. Chidera Obianoju Ekeocha. Leo Andrus, magna cum laude. Samantha Ang, cum laude. Kendra Engabretson. Ibad Forshuri. Stephen Anthony Fulkowski. Skylar I. Deweese Fisher, summa cum laude. Frederick Joseph Flanagan. Marlene Fokwa. Giselle Vanessa Fotso. Felix K. Francis. Derek M. Fong. Marianne D. Gadiano. Elvira Galligan. Cortland Danielle Gant. Caitlin M. Gavatos, magna cum laude. Shana Gregory. Anmol Singh Graywall. Teen An Ha, cum laude. Hainak Hapteis. Judith H. Han, cum laude. Umera Afrin Huck. Tiana Nicole Harper. Shazeb Hassan, summa cum laude. Ayana Lachey Henderson, magna cum laude. Felice Marie DeMano Hernandez, cum laude. Keenan T. Hope. Julie Hulais. Nathaniel L. Jackson. Ricky Dystrup Jepson, cum laude. Katrina A. Johnson. William L. Jones, cum laude. Jasleen Kaur. Dushmita S. Kavuru. Jenna Kim, summa cum laude. Tisha King. 
Sandeep P. Koropati. Nina Nicole Krankowski. Gabriella K. Kafour. Christine Lee Langford. Quinn Lee. Brianne E. Leaf. Chris Sun Lee. Romario D. Lewis. Kevin Liao, magna cum laude. Alexis L. Lucas. Caitlin Machka, cum laude. Emily Masonette. Parry Mangaldis Majithia, cum laude. Yum M. Malual. Sarah Sajid Manzur. Asfia Mariam. Elizabeth B. Marques. Ruba Mateen, cum laude. Amanda C. Matthews. Cameron McDonald, cum laude. Natalie McDonald. Priscilla Mini Gonzalez. Sunita R. Mengers, summa cum laude. Carly V. Menzel. Moret S. Mina. Sukena Mir. Nisha S. Nike, magna cum laude. And Kumdilim C. Indupuizu. Ariel C. Nameni Moani. Kenny Wynn. Chisholm Deborah Nwaneri, cum laude. Ani Nor Obemi Debo. Adago E. Okoye, cum laude. Temi Tope Adadeyu Olufutebi. Ola Yinka O. Opazanmi. Kendra V. Ose, magna cum laude. Shivakshi Pancholi. Dipal M. Patel, cum laude. Nalay B. Patel. Sarang B. Patel, cum laude. Carly R. Fan, cum laude. Nima Bernice Philippe. Danique A. Philip. Caitlin L. Phoebus. Jason R. Pon. Nam Phuong Thuy Nguyen, magna cum laude. Devona Z. Kwesi Wood. Taylor M. Radden. Azim Hafiz Raja, magna cum laude. Denise Ramirez, cum laude. Cameron A. Rode, cum laude. Cameron D. Riddell, magna cum laude. Rachel Reiser. Alexis P. Rubin, magna cum laude. Megan C. Ryan. Amir R. Sadegi. Abraham C. Samba. Sohail Samet. Bonnie P. Selvam, cum laude. Sam Sefri, magna cum laude. Ashley Scott, cum laude. Anas Sheikh, cum laude. Rupini Shukla, cum laude. Cheyenne R. Smith, magna cum laude. Melanie M. Smith. Rebecca Janine Smith, cum laude. Sam Swin. Richa Suri, cum laude. Bethel B. Tay. Charles W. Thomas, magna cum laude. Dylan M. Thomas. Jesslyn P. Thomas, cum laude. Nochan G. Tran. Tiffany Truong. Ankur M. Vida, magna cum laude. Faraz Vatan. Gabriel Emilio Villalobos. Tu Quin Fu, magna cum laude. Irei Wong. Nora Q. Wong, magna cum laude. Madeline R. White. Ariel R. Wilson. Petros Wolda Wardofa. Aaron C. Yi. Megadelawit Yurifu. Nebiat Zode, cum laude. We now present the graduates in chemistry and biochemistry. William S. Dean, summa cum laude. Lauren M. Ferreira. Hannah Ruth Honick, magna cum laude. Corey D. McDonald, summa cum laude. Matthew Shin, magna cum laude. Devin Taylor, cum laude. We now present the graduates in mathematics and statistics. Mary Luisa Abiva, cum laude. Musa Alam. Patrick Ansky. 
Ashley M. Arnold. Kyle S. Beggs, cum laude. Alexander Berea Helbeck. Adam B. Byerly. Q. G. Cheristal. Grace H. Choi, summa cum laude. Luke A. Cook, magna cum laude. Gloria L. Diedrich, cum laude. Paige L. Dutro, magna cum laude. Alvaro M. Fletcher, magna cum laude. Sean J. Francois. Maxwell J. Frankenberg. Jonathan Park Fritz. Rachel M. Healy, magna cum laude. James E. Hawk, cum laude. Timothy A. Cranking. Caitlin Longo, summa cum laude. Haley Lynch, summa cum laude. Leslie N. McAdoo, summa cum laude. Nick Nauman. Jacob N. Obat, magna cum laude. Adi Tokumbo J. Okunrunboye. Jane Ann Pan, magna cum laude. Milana Paul. Julian A. Sass, cum laude. Munira J. Shahir. Adam J. Shelley, summa cum laude. Bokong Shu, cum laude. Benjamin M. Yonkowski, cum laude. We now present the graduates in physics. Andrew Cook, magna cum laude. Philip Dang, summa cum laude. Ryan Green. John M. Hannigan. Alexander A. Jalota. James C. Loy. Wei C. Trin. Davis Witten Klebinoff. We now present the graduates in chemical, biochemical, and environmental engineering. <laughs> Megan Patricia Alley. Sarah R. Arusi. Jasni K. Bassam. Alexander S. Bishop, magna cum laude. Benjamin O. Cho. Adam R. Day, cum laude. Travis N. Dennis. Ken S. Fu. Brian Gibson. Kwabina Gima Asante. Christina N. Higgins. Alan J. Karp. Samuel T. Keating. Arbib Khan, cum laude. Matthew Koverek, magna cum laude. John Kill Lee. Kane S. Lee, cum laude. Luke Patrick Mara, cum laude. Joshua Mealy, cum laude. Ganesh Masur, cum laude. Pranesh Navarante, magna cum laude. Aruga Naduki. Alex Kaho O'Shaughnessy. Akash N. Patel, summa cum laude. Sugar P. Patel. Hair Mesh Rami, cum laude. John C. Ruth, magna cum laude. Mahidi H. Savi. Emily J. Schultius. Nicole Y. Scott. Apurva Shah Cum Laude, Fatima I. Sheikh, Arjun B. Singh, Joshua A. Smith, Zachary T. Spencer, Matthew W. Sweeney, Magna Cum Laude, Yogur N. Telnik, Michael V. Valerino, Magna Cum Laude, Walid Weris, Magna Cum Laude, April Michelle Wasserben, magna cum laude. Victoria Yoon, cum laude. Wei Ming Zhen. 
We now present the graduates in computer science and electrical engineering. Jeremias V. Agulon. Ali S. Ahmad, cum laude. Aiz N. Ahmed. Alexander G. Alexandrovich, magna cum laude. Patrick Lee Baer. Michael S. Bishop, cum laude. Augusta A. Blomer. Kevin A. Bolchinski, magna cum laude. Kyle Nicholas Boyer, cum laude. Peter W. Browning. Tyler Bryant. Ciaran F. Kane, magna cum laude. Nicholas Kantner. Elliot L. Carney Sim. Chang L. Chen. Dylan C. Chu. Louis G. Crisetti. <laughs> Joseph P. Daniels. Persephone M. Della Cum Laude. Danesh D. Desai. Elise A. Donker. Matthew J. Dowling Cum Laude. Corinne M. Ed. Nathan M. Epstein. Evely Escobar. Tobichuquo Ekezwana, magna cum laude. Michael F. Falkenstein, cum laude. John Richard Ferdercheck, cum laude. Colton Fodel, summa cum laude. Eric A. Forte, magna cum laude. Paolo B. Frias. Beatrice Patricia R. Garcia, magna cum laude. Solomon Adedebo. Aden Mugeta Ganesbet. Saigotham Ganta, magna cum laude. Brent W. Goebel, cum laude. Robert S. Grossman, magna cum laude. Alexander Guthrie, cum laude. Terence Andrew Hale, cum laude. Hu Luda. Nicholas A. Holtmeyer. Amanda M. Hartman. Amanda M. Hartman. Mirren Hussaini. Brian J. Jarrell. Kevin P. Jones, cum laude. Mihir S. Joshi, cum laude. Aparna Vishwanthan Kalipan, summa cum laude. Michael T. Carper, cum laude. Sung Ho Kim. Jason M. Clement, cum laude. Sekar Kulandavel, summa cum laude. Christopher M. Laverdier, summa cum laude. Gavin Alexander Lebo. Michael Juan Lee. Olsi Leka, summa cum laude. Michael W. Leung. Si Chi Lin. Julian C. Loyacono, cum laude. Xiong Lu, magna cum laude. Denmark Umali Luciaraga. Tang Luo. Jonathan T. Maller. David McCauley. Kevin Michael McGivern, magna cum laude. Roberto C. Melgar. Erica Margaret Michelle. Joseph R. Nelson, summa cum laude. Patrick F. Nettie, cum laude. I. Anda. Bruce M. Oshakoya. Adam Michael Ostrov, cum laude. J.B. Patel. Mark Pileggi. Amanda R. Pirate, magna cum laude. Brandon S. Quaid, cum laude. Tyler R. Quaid. Anastasia Rafucci, magna cum laude. Rishi H. Raval, cum laude. Kendall James Reed. Austin C. Roberts. Jessica Lauren Rolfe, cum laude. 
Ilana Esther Rosenberg, Mahesh S. Shirole, Nasif F. Sichter, Daniel A. Smith, Lemuel Sun, John D. Swank, Michael Tong, Stephen T. Tai, Cum Laude, Anthony Wade Townley, Kenneth V. Tran, Magna Cum Laude, Tam Teen Tran, Cum Laude, William G. Trotman, Magna Cum Laude, Vitaly Alexandrovich Terechikov, Magna Cum Laude, Mikhail Pavlovich Vorontsov, Matthew Vincent Walker, Travis Anderson Ward, Magna Cum Laude, Brooke Allison Washington, Cum Laude, David A. Wiedel, Magna Cum Laude, Dominique Michael Williams, Jordan K. Williams, Randy C. Williams, summa cum laude. Joseph G. Robleski. Jin Wei Shu, cum laude. Lun Chung Yuan. Frank Martin Zastonic, cum laude. Ying Zhang. We now present the graduates in mechanical engineering. Ariel Alcoser. Roy Constantine Anderson, cum laude. Muhammad Azimi, cum laude. Michael V. Berna. William Jesse Birmingham, summa cum laude. Andrew Brow. Megan Centifont, cum laude. Eric Conrad. James S. Cruz, magna cum laude. Jacob C. Darling, cum laude. Kelly M. Davis. Nicole C. Demetridis, magna cum laude. Shannon R. Donnellan. Claire C. Dowley. Jordan Fetterman. Mark Fisher. Kurt William Gantz. Catherine Geisler. Brent S. Garrity, magna cum laude. Nelson A. Glover, magna cum laude. Christopher Nelson Gonzora. Roland Hafenmeyer. Luke F. Hall. Erica L. Hefferman, summa cum laude. Jeffrey Hiscox. Melissa N. Holmes, summa cum laude. Jared Christopher Horn, cum laude. Kevin Ray Horvath, cum laude. Nicholas Philip and Jayan. Holly L. Johnson, cum laude. Jason Michael Cares. Chin Liu, magna cum laude. Kyle Michael Lynch. Mark B. Mercer. Kenton R. Merlino. Hassan Mohammed Omar. Inderbir Singh Ponder. Roger Dale Peters. Nathaniel T. Pranger, Nicole S. Racine, magna cum laude. Michael C. Roberts. Amireza Saharkis, magna cum laude. Spencer J. Shackles. Jonathan Shulgach. Zachary Springer. Nicholas A. Stracho, cum laude. Eric Sullivan. Pei H. Thong. Yona Tibu, Michael C. Torres, magna cum laude. Justin Daniel Tunzi, Louis M. Vassilides, Andrew Scott Wallace, Nicholas J. Wise, Stefan J. Robluski, cum laude. Myo Min Zaw, Carolyn R. Zellhofer, cum laude. We now present the graduates in information systems. Hugh L. Abrams Heldi. Hassan Ali Al Arafat. Walid Khalid M. Alamaj. Abdul Majid Mari S. Al Sabra. Patrick James Alejandro. Inshal Amjad. Nader Baradar. Harmon Burring, Permvir S. Burring, 
Todd Blackman, Stephanie H. Blaney, Kwok Bean Bowie, Daniel Cano Hueros, Bradley J. Carrion, Caitlin Carter, Rouge Shalabi, Alec Chanthaboon, Mark Serincioni, Cum Laude, Austin Cole, Brandon F. Clusio, Nicole Dawson, Summa Cum Laude, Keshav P. Dakal, Sana Saeed Din, Duck Din, Mark Eagles, Magna Cum Laude, Benjamin M. Falk, Donald James Fadler, Alborz A. Fakari, Adnan Fayaz, Sergey Boris Feldman, Abdel Ali Ndam Fankako, Mia J. Frederick, Joseph George, Justin M. Glaze, Yanin I. Naka, Gregory Goldfarb, Jonathan Gott, Javan Graham, Aaron Gray, Andrew Gribben, Andrew J. Gromada, Daniel A. Gunan, Cassidy Gunther, Cum Laude, Bao Ha, Magna Cum Laude, Hunter Earl Hogg, Eric A. Hasselbarth, Alexander C. Ho, Zachary Hopkins, Kenneth Sue, Jamie Imperial, Rohan S. Jane, Alyssa Thornton Gerard, Joshua George Joseph, Jonathan M. Gerardo, Mark J. Julian, Hashem Kenfash, Neya Kapoor, Charles Almas Karpati, Tyler Kasher, Jagpreet Kaur, Mohammed Khan, David Michael Kinner, Alexander King, Eamon Singh Kundlas, Richard J. Lamb, Cum Laude, Brian L. Lassen, Magna Cum Laude, Kudis Adaniyi Lawal, Brian Lee, Eric S. Lee, Julian J. Lee, Sung S. Lee, Joseph Thomas Lisi, Vidra R. Maharaj, Adeolo Dominic Majekudunmi, Justin A. Moritz, Derek Earl McCorvey, Samantha A. McDonald, Magna Cum Laude, Melissa A. McGuckin, Nicholas B. Miller, Maximilian Minchang, Cum Laude, Matthew Eric Morgan, Inez Jessica Nasa, Matthew Nagash McConan, Sari Nauthong, Gloria E. No, Wang Trang Nok Win, Kaylin Cassidy O'Connor, Matthew Odunjo, Sunny Suresh Kumar Patel, Gunal Paul, Maya Nok Pham, Nok Ho N Pham, Nok X Fan, Tuyen Duck Fo, Amanda C. Ramke, Magna Cum Laude, Naveen Ramnarain, Vincent Wrench, Elizabeth Ann J. Reyes, Francisco Reyes, Spencer J. Richardson, Stephanie Rosario, Cum Laude, Louis Saunders, Peter Capistrano Servano, Darren Sato, Lubaba Shahid, Mubashir Ahmad Shan, Cum Laude, Apeksha Shankar, Patrick Shea, Hosuk Shin, Asad Shueb, Daravati Veronique Sokon, Aswathi Shrikumar, Wenjia Soon, Troy Swetman, 
Haley M. Sweeten, magna cum laude. Kirabel Tedessa. Attila Genghis Tale. Jenna A. Tart. Eric M. Tai. Andrew Trier. Jamie Tsao. Matthew J. Vesley. Andrew Wattenberg. Josh M. Welch. Ryan A. Williams. Nicholas A. Wilson. Michael Young. Ziya Zhao. We now present the graduates in interdisciplinary studies. Brendan T. Berger. Juliana N. Brightman. Adam James Freitag, cum laude. Allison M. Opitz. Priyanka K. Prasad, magna cum laude. Marcus Allen Proctor, cum laude. Michelle Siu, cum laude. Andrew G. Stark. Allison E. Stechik, cum laude. Paul D. Vanek, magna cum laude. Sophia Venera Shima Bokoro, cum laude. We now present the graduates in Management of Aging Services. Cynthia Garner. Cassandra Lynn Jensen, cum laude. Duncan Jones. We now present the graduates in Social Work. Perpetua Abangnella, magna cum laude. Akinlolu Afolabi. Madeline Elena Akins. Elizabeth Ayers. Sarah E. Baylog, cum laude. Jessica Marie Belosi Mullinax. Sylvia Gatir Bikos. George C. Buttermeyer, magna cum laude. Shadel Mia Canty. Emma F. Chaplin, summa cum laude. Meeg Clements, cum laude. Carrie Kathleen Cleveland, magna cum laude. Rachel Crane, summa cum laude. Zalalem Tadeli Danye. Heather Lynn Dean, cum laude. Maria Diana, cum laude. Trisha Marie Dove. Dwayne John Eggerman, cum laude. Ryan Etherton. Valerie Chuponko Etienne. Emily Fader. Leslie Guadalupe Flores Membreno, magna cum laude. Devana Frazier. Kelly Jacqueline Galarza. Sarah Lynn Jacqueline, magna cum laude. Bianca Christina Giorgilli, cum laude. Matthew Goldman. Rebecca Marie Green, magna cum laude. Sharonda M. Gross. Dario Nicholas Hassan Martinez. Daniel Heckman, summa cum laude. Cindy L. Holden. Michaela Itter. Holly Jordan. Hunter Lee Caskey, cum laude. Nancy Kang. Sarah Y. Kim. Marianne Kirch Gessner, summa cum laude. Jessica Michael Caitlin Kuntz Ferreira, cum laude. Elliot Lambert. Hadassah Link. Jacqueline D. Linant. Maria Frances McFadden Costabili. Bethany Caitlin Medley, magna cum laude. Jessica E. Malewski. Kenneth Edward Melnick, magna cum laude. Imirud Mangba. Sandra Funkuin Mubang. Elizabeth Norma Nance. Stephanie Yu Win. Tan Trang T. Win. Aaron O'Sullivan. Michael Harrison Oliver. Elizabeth Paco. Amanda B. Perdomo. Gabby Lisseth Portillo. Caitlin Amanda Queen. Nilufar Rami, cum laude. Veronica C. Renderos. Beneza Rivera. Rosalind Ross. Patrick Sheridan Schrumpf. Brittany Taylor Skybel. Imani Smoot. Melissa Salgado. 
Kelly Serna, Cum Laude, Emma Stewart Sims, Libera Tour, Gail Valbrun, Glenda M. Valenzuela, Carla J. Velasquez, Monica Valencia, Anna Marie K. Wagner, Cum Laude, Nellie N. Waribe, Cum Laude, Jesse W. Watson, We are almost there. We are almost there. With the graduating seniors in the Camerata, please proceed to the risers located on your left. The Camerata is under the direction of Dr. Stephen Caracciolo, Assistant Professor of Music. Also, the UMBC Retriever Brass Quintet has joined us to provide music for the ceremony, directed by Mr. Brian Kaufman, also in music. Please join me in, in thanking all of the musicians for their help with us today, their wonderful music. I also want, if I can have your attention, you've been a wonderful audience, we're almost there, in this dignified ceremony. I know that we respect the graduates and understand the significance of the dignity of the ceremony because this is UMBC. I want to acknowledge John Becker, the Vice President of Operations for the Alumni Association Board. John is one of the nearly 70,000 alumni. He graduated in 2001 in Information Systems and is Chief Te Technology Officer at ProSync Technology Group here in Baltimore. Please thank him for what he's doing to help us out with the alumni. They are all becoming alumni. And now before I ask you graduates to turn your tassels, please take this moment Please take this moment to savor your success. I want you to enjoy this experience as you move to new challenges. Let me share the words of our first UMBC president, the late Alvin Kuhn, who spoke to the first graduating class in 1970 and said this, if you bring to the future the same personal qualities and personal commitment that you brought to this campus as students. Good and important things will happen to each of you and to those around you, and the university will be proud to have played a part in your lives. And now let me give you my thought. Know that if you persevere, and we know you will, you will reach your goals, though you are certain to be challenged and tested along the way. Just remember that your dreams, and most important, your character, will determine who you will become. Your character will be reflected most clearly in the courage you possess and in the compassion, compassion you show for others. Be true to yourselves, true in your relationships, always reaching out to inspire and to elevate. Remember that you will always be connected to each other and to this university, to your beloved UMBC. Remember that this 
is your home and you will always be a part of us. At this time, class of 2016, you may now turn your tassels audience. Please rise and give them a standing ovation. I ask that you stand, remain standing as we sing the alma mater led by the camarada, and please remain at your seats quietly. Excuse me, excuse me. Dignified ceremony, thank you so much. Remain at your seats quietly as we sing this song, and then uh, as we proceed. The words can be found on the inside back cover of the program. Give yourselves a round of applause for being a wonderful audience today. A wonderful audience. Everyone kindly remain standing until the platform party, faculty, staff, and graduates have recessed. Families and friends are asked to meet the graduates outside of the arena. On behalf of the UMBC community, I wish you congratulations, everyone. Thank <laughs> you. 